Welcome to Sightings. I'm Tim White. A lot of interesting videotapes are delivered here to the sightings offices. Most record brief distant encounters with unidentified objects. But a few, like the tape that you're about to see, are in a class by themselves. They're clear, close up, and unexplained. And when we examined the area where the tape was shot, sightings discovered a top secret world in a very unlikely place. A freak snowstorm is about as big as the news gets in quiet Chillicothe, Ohio. But in 1996, Terry Howard shot home video of a UFO that is still making news around the world. On the night of October 16th, uh, I went to take the uh, trash out behind the house, and uh, I uh, glanced up at the uh, sky. I uh, saw uh, four bright objects that looked like stars. They lit up really bright into like a bright yellow light, kind of like a flare, uh, and they moved together into one solid bright yellow object, and then they uh, separated uh, back into kind of a line. Terry Howard was not the only one to have a sighting that night. Chillicothe Sheriff Ron Nichols received notice that the switchboard was lighting up with calls about the same UFO. On the evening of October the 16th, we had received a complaint from a citizen that lived in the southern portion of Ross County that they had seen or witnessed some lights that were in formations in the sky. They didn't have any idea what they were. Animals in the neighborhood, as far as I could hear, was, was barking and howling, and uh, they didn't stop until uh, it, it had gone away. We received uh, several uh, calls that evening of lights in the sky. Uh, again, uh, we still have no idea what they were. I finally thought, hey, maybe I should get the camera on this. So I went in and I got uh, our video camera and came back out. And uh, that's when I was lucky enough to catch just the ending of them separating on tape. This compelling videotape is the result. Response to it was immediate and overwhelming as local news and UFO investigators like William Jones rushed to investigate the scene and analyze the video. I think it's definitely an anomalous phenomenon of some kind. When you first look at the tape, you think it might be flares. But when you find out from Terry that those objects, when he first saw them, were coming together, and then on the tape, when you see them spreading apart, those obviously cannot be flares. Jones is the Ohio director of MUFON, the world's largest UFO investigation group. MUFON's video and film expert is Jeff Sainio, and he has analyzed the Howard tape. Witness stated that what we saw here, the lights coming in and out, it happened four or five times before he raced off to get his camera. An action like this is obviously not the result of some conventional objects. And if it were any kind of conventional object, it'd be moving in some even consistent path across the sky. But what we're seeing here, this thing in just a few seconds moving upward and then downward again, clearly a motion wouldn't be seen by a conventional object. The conclusion I'd make here is that you have a, a short but intriguing video of an object that appears to be rotating and moving around in the sky for a brief 15 seconds or so before disappearing. So that fits in well with many sightings that have occurred in other areas. But Sanyo could say only what it is not. No one knows where the UFO came from or why it came here. There have been more than an average number of UFO sightings come out of southern Ohio, it seems to me. You have a low population density down here. You would think it would be just the opposite. You'd think that where more people are living, there's a better chance of seeing UFOs. But for some reason, a large number of reports do seem to come out of this area. Chillicothe may be a long car ride. Seeing UFOs. But for some reason, a large number of reports do seem to come out of this area. Chillicothe may be a long car ride away from any big city, but by air, it's only minutes from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, where, many ufologists believe, secret weapons based on recovered alien technology are being built and flown. But others feel the real answer is even closer to home. The triangulated convergence point of all the reported phenomena from October 16th was determined to have been in the skies above Adams County, which houses the Peach Mountain Complex. Kenny Young is a member of TASC, Tri-State Advocates for Scientific Knowledge. 
He thinks the UFOs may be coming from a remote General Electric testing facility south of Chillicothe. Adams County is the most remote and desolate part of Ohio. It also houses the facility that we call Ohio's Area 51, which is the GE facility located within the Peach Mountain Range. Um, it's very desolate, very remote. Very few people are there from which to see something that would be tested. The Peebles facility claims that all GE jet engines are tested on the ground, never in the air or attached to secret aircraft. I did uh, make some inquiries with the public relations director of GE regarding the October 16th sightings. And I did receive a response from them in which they flatly denied that there was any activity that they would have been involved with. The terse response from GE's media relations manager states, quote, the alleged aerial phenomenon of October 16th did not result from activity remotely connected to the GE Peebles facility. But I should note that certain airspace above the Peebles site is utilized by Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And in the past, USAF aircraft maneuvers have been performed in airspace near and above the Peebles facility. In addition to uh, inquiries placed with GE, I also took the step of uh, requesting information from Wright Pat by fax, in which they have mysteriously lost. Young admits his biggest enemy right now is red tape. GE does not deny that there is a facility there. It's just it, uh, immersed in secrecy to the point where nobody really knows exactly what is being tested. Is this a secret military project? A re-engineered flying saucer? Or is Chillicothe's proximity to Wright Pat and GE a red herring, throwing ufologists off the extraterrestrial track? I think the tape that Terry took is important. It focuses for the public on the fact that we're seeing something in the skies that we can't explain. This has been going on for at least 50 years, at least since the mid-1940s. I think it's time that the government comes straight on what it knows. If they do have new equipment testing it out, I think it would be the, the sensitivity of it to keep it confidential and quiet would be to the security of our country. It would be of most importance. I don't know what I saw, to be honest, that night. Uh, I know it wasn't an airplane or a helicopter, and it wasn't fireworks, and it wasn't flares. So I, I'm not sure what it, what it was. If there is an extraterrestrial component to all of the UFO sightings that have been made over the years, then it's time for us as a species to grow up and realize that we're living in a galactic neighborhood, perhaps, that we're going to have to join. Terry Howard tells us that since he shot his historic video, he has become something of a local celebrity, fielding offers from a number of different programs. And Terry says he's no longer ambivalent about the reality of UFOs. They are out there. Terry reports, and hopefully he will catch one again. <laughs>